Okay, our Texas themed inside corner continues starring JP Morosi live from Arlington. You lucky duck. Good morning to you. Wow, an up close look at number 62. I can't imagine the relief, the joy. You caught up with Aaron Judge post game. What did he have to say? Lauren, good morning. Indeed, it was about 10 hours ago that I was interviewing the man himself, Aaron Judge. What an honor for me, for our network, and certainly for all of baseball to be here and witness number 62, the new American League record. And at one point, Aaron said to me how relieved he felt rounding the bases, not just for himself, but for his family as well, knowing how happy they would be that these tense days were drawing to a close with that emphatic leadoff home run for Aaron Judge last night. And also, Lauren, during that conversation, he reflected on the journey from Linden, California to here. Well, it starts, you know, <laughs> you know, I got to thank God for, you know, putting me in this position and, you know, getting me to where I'm at. You know, the constant support from my family and friends. You know, who've been with me through it all, you know, coaches from Little League, high school, college, you know, that have been here instructing me and helping me out through this this whole thing. And, you know, any anytime, you know, individual records, individual awards are given, it's it's never individual. It's never single single handedly done. It's it's through a group effort, you know, people behind the scenes, family support, friends, teammates, you know, so I can never I can't stand up here and say, you know, this is a great accomplishment for me. This is, you know, something for my family, for my teammates, for the Yankees. This is this is a group effort that I'm happy to share with them. Those uh, amazing words from Patty Judge, Lauren, in the stands. Oh, my gosh. You could read her lips. And <laughs> you could also think back and say, in Linden, California, she probably had the same reaction at every high school football game, sure. high school baseball game, the, 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 the pride of a parent uh, here on display on the greatest of all the moments. And, Lauren, I'll, I'll share this with you. I actually I stepped out of the press box before that leadoff at-bat and, and watched that at-bat from the crowd. And I don't know what exactly moved me to do it, but it was pretty special to, to be um, among all those gathered here, the largest paid attendance in the history of Globe Life Field to see that unfold uh, and, and feel that reaction, whereas the ball went up, there was that reaction around you of, oh my gosh, it could be. And then as you saw it keep going and going, oh, it is, it is, it is. And they knew what was happening. And certainly now, Lauren, there's still the next chapter of the story, which is what happens to the ball? And I, I asked Aaron about that last night. He said, certainly, of course, his family would love to have the ball, but he recognizes that it's a, a memorabilia, a souvenir for a fan, and that fans are such a huge part of the game. So it was a very gracious answer from a very gracious person who I think has, has borne the pressure of this milestone and the chase of it as well as anyone could have ever dreamed. Yeah, you can say that again. You painted that picture beautifully. He never talks about himself, but after 62, you forced him to. So good on you not to be overlooked, JP. I don't know why a couple weeks ago I didn't realize how many strikeouts Garrett Cole had surpassing Ron Guidry, who called him. How cool. He's always so insightful. How did that conversation go? Lauren, I, I'm glad you mentioned it that way because Garrett was completely in the moment and had great perspective on what had tr transpired last night. Remember, of course, he grew up as a fan of the Yankees. He grew up in Southern California cheering for this team, wearing this logo, the, the great photo, of course, of him going to the World Series in 2001, 21 years ago. And, and for Garrett Cole to surpass Ron Guidry's record. Let's take a listen to what he told me about the emotions of last night. Ron gave Ron gave us a call um, after you know after the game, and they put him on the Bluetooth, and he he talked to he talked to me, and he talked to us, and congratulated us, and that was um, that was just personally a remarkable moment for me, um, and you know I just. I am thrilled to be able to share this with Aaron, you know, the small part, you know, second fiddle, whatever it is, you know, I mean, just a, just a piece of it tonight is amazing. And, and, um, just a wonderful moment for the team in general, you know, there's so much work that goes behind the scenes from the training staff to the analytics department and to my, to my two horses behind the, the, the dish, Trevi and Higgy. I, I thought it was Pretty special how it worked out that Higgy could catch the tying strikeout and Trevi could catch the 
the go-ahead strikeout. Um, it's weird how things seem to work out like that in this jersey, and uh, it, it's really, really special that they could both share a part of it because they're now they're my rock, and I lean on those boys, and um, you know they do so much work for me, and and the same with. The same with everyone else, you know, because it comes down to a great player. It comes down to a little bit of confidence that gives you that extra ability to put a little bit extra on that pitch. So, you know, I think Aaron would say the same thing. We all share both of these records tonight as, as a team. Great perspective from Garrett Cole. And I also loved, Lauren, the Yankees tweeted out a video of, of Ron Guidry's phone call into the clubhouse so everybody could hear it yeah. uh, via the Bluetooth in the room. And I love that at the end of the conversation, Garrett said, thank you, sir, to, to Ron Guidry. And Ron said, no, no, my name is not sir. It's Gator, and I, lo I love that moment still, that the, the clubhouse nickname, certainly that's followed him along for all, all the, the generations and all the decades, Lauren. And I think this, and this is where, I, just being around the Yankees here the last couple of days and a number of times during the course of the season, I think this was such a unique night. Obviously, you've got two records set, but also this, that for Aaron Judge, and probably for Garrett Cole to an extent, certainly for Judge, his first at-bat of the postseason will be less pressurized than what he went through last night. Think about that. In that uniform with all the expectations and the pressure, Aaron Judge for the last weeks, two to three weeks at least, the, the pressure on every single at bat, now it's just baseball again for him. And for someone that's always sure. been so team focused as Aaron is, as Garrett is, there's a certain relief, and as, as we were parting last night, Garrett said that certainly today, speaking of Wednesday, can be a day of a little bit of relaxation. You don't get many relaxing days in a Yankee uniform, but today, richly deserved, will be one of them for Aaron Judge and Garrett Cole. History made humble superstars. Man, our game is in a wonderful place. This last night is why we decided to get into this business, right? In the yeah, first place. Glad you were well there. Said. J. P. Morosi on the inside corner, Robert. Thanks, Lauren.